the Chow Chin Chow, Santa and Joe here, and before you ask, no, it is not Christmas time, you have on the Chow, so, um, I am not going to be wearing my Christmas jumpers and Christmas hat just yet, you know, let's give it another week or so, yeah, let's give it another week or so, but welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Scythe Trial Run, in the last episode, we made it right here to the Sicilic, the Pacific City. I want to call it Pacific... Basilic? Basilic City. There we go. Uh, the City in the Crater. That's where we made it to today uh, in the last episode. Today we're going to adventure around this place. We're going to see if there's a gym. And we're possibly going to take it on as well. Off screen I've done a little bit of grinding so that Munchlax is the same level as Turtwig. Uh, yep. Uh, Turtwig by the end of last episode was actually around about level 13, almost level 14. So I thought to myself, you know, I'll give Turtwig the one extra battle it needs in grinding to get to level 14. So Turtwig is level 14, has the moves Absorb, uh, Withdrawal, Tackle and Razor Leaf. Then we have Munchlax. Uh, level 14 with Tackle, Metronome, Defense Curl and Lick. That is the team rather quickly as a moment in time. I will find more teammates. It's just going to take some time. Okay. I mean, I'm considering going back into that cave and finding a Shellos that I might want to pick up. But again, I don't really want the pink one. I'd want the blue one since it's shut up phone. I need to put you on do not disturb, don't I? Before I actually officially start this video and start my timer, I need to put you on do not disturb so you stop annoying me. Ever since I moved my phone closer to my uh, closer to my PC so I can have it just checking it's still charging. Uh it's not plugged in. Anyway, yeah, ever since I moved my phone closer to my PC in order for me to actually uh, have my phone in my office ready just in case I need it for anything, it's been more annoying. So don't really like that. I really would have preferred to put my phone further away, but it just means when people call me, I can actually answer the phone this time. So, that's kind of important. That's why I keep my phone in the office now and not further away in the other room. Because I've had times when people have called me and I've not got to the phone in time in order to answer said phone. And it's annoying. And they don't like it either. So, let's start the timer already. So it's a weekday episode, so that means it is tw we got 25 minutes. And I know uh, that you you miss out on some of the music being played by the game because I have to click off the screen. And again, I still don't understand how why Visual Boy Advance does this and how to fix this. I have never been able to figure out the option to allow me to fix this. And I'm sorry, but I've never been able to figure out what option. There's an option somewhere that says that you can keep music going when you when it's in the active window. I can never figure it out. I've sat for hours in tutorials to try and figure out where this button is in settings, and I still can't figure it out. I have a rare Pokeball. I have a rare looking Pokeball, but I don't know how to use it. Oh, a repeat ball, nice. Thanks. I guess that's okay if you want to catch the same Pokemon more than once. I guess it's good for shiny hunters, but not for good for me, because I don't really care. Living by a pond is the best. I can go and fish whenever I want. Good for you, fisherman. This city in a valley. Geologists say that this city might have been built on top of a crater. Huh. Hello. This city uh, rarely has any visitors. It's uh, kind of hidden by the mountains and a crater, so it's, this is a quiet place. Does that mean this place doesn't have a gym? And this is not the city of the second gym? Because it sounds like there'd be a city, this would be the second gym area, but I don't, maybe it's not. Are you a Pokemon trainer? I see you have gym badges, so you must be one. By the way, uh, this city has its own gym. It does have a gym, so you should check it out. See? So you saying it gets no 
barely any visitors is weird because the fact is you'd think they'd get a load of visitors coming through because they're the gym. Ah, that new Pokemon League thing. I've seen it it's in all other regions, but I never thought Cohen would uh, join the craze. There's nothing wrong with the gym challenge. It's a good idea. Uh, but you'd think there'd be an item here. There's not. You know, there's a gap in the trees where you'd think there'd be an item. There's not. Right? No. Oh, there, there is! There's a Twisted Spoon! I don't have a Psychic-type Pokémon, so I can't benefit from that, but still, it's here. What's this? Stop damaging the gym already! What now? You're disturbing uh, uh, the artist. Artist? You've got to be kidding me! You'll come uh, with me, young man! Huh. Yeah, sure. After a quick battle between the two... How is this possible? Your Pokémon are cruel. Uh, uh, clearly not for battling. What do you feed them with? Donuts every day? That would explain everything. Kid, what the hell are you doing? He obviously wants to stand up uh, for your uh, for weaklings like you. All right. If the policeman can't get it done, I'll get it done. You are Sandal. Really? A level, ten, a level 10 Sandile was the thing that gave the policeman trouble? I mean, I know that policemen usually have Arcanines, uh, you know, like Growlithe and stuff like that, but, you know, it's not a hard Pokemon to their feet. It's not a hard Pokemon to defeat. Easy. Did I just get defeated by a kid? Yes. Yes, you did. Ex excuse me, but what the hell? Well, I don't... I won't mess around here. Bye-bye, freaks. This was, uh... That was very reckless of you, kid. But you were lucky. I got, uh... I got to go. Don't need uh, to get uh, my, uh, into any more trouble. All right. So there's a gym here. Some there's a gym here. Oh. Okay, that's how you get into the gym. Hey yo! Uh, looks like a new challenger has arrived. Come up here, champ. Welcome to Pacific's gym. You're kind. Uh, you look kind of dizzy. Are you afraid of heights? Well, hopefully you aren't because you'll have to jump f around a lot. Platforms here are floating by psychic energy. To get around, uh, to get from one to another, you'll need to jump. Uh, but don't worry, psychic energy would lift uh, you if it managed to if you managed to miss the jump you could have guessed from the psychic power uh, the psychic whole psychic thing but this is a psychic gym you'll face trainers of that type at the end you'll face harry the gym leader he's a hot uh, he's kind of hot-headed but he's a strong trainer so don't underestimate him well good luck champ and hopefully you'll return with the batch. All right, let's do it. So the power of psychic energy is going to get us through this gym uh, from what it looks like, which is interesting. Very, very interesting is that's what the plan is. I mean, I can basically just... Really? Okay. You know what? I'm just going to do that and... Wow, he confused me, so now I can't, I can't do that. Okay, so much slacks came in handy there to have much slacks ready to go just in case. But like, I really need to. Can I not? 
I can't go back. I can't go back. That's rather interesting. I'm guessing there's like going to be like warp points where I can go back. Because I kind of need to go back. And heal, so kind of need those warp points. Is this a warp? Is this one of those? No, I just... Well, where's this take me? Okay, that takes me to another trainer. I don't really need another trainer right now. I just need a warp point to get me back to the gym. You know, get me... Back to the start of the gym so I don't have to... Oh, there's the gym leader. Business take me back to the beginning. It does, cool. That's exactly what I needed. I need to get back to the beginning because I was a little sure, unsure. My church wig was not ready for this. And I don't actually, there's no counter for this gym yet. Because I haven't run into a dark type. The most I could have done is got L Lily Pop, and, which is a rare encounter on the previous route. And basically... Alert bite? That's the most I could have done. But I think that it was still taking a while. I mean, I've got Lick. I do have Lick on Munchlax, so that's something at least. But it's not the best idea, and I probably would suggest not doing that. But just in case maybe they have a Terrafarig, so they counter ghosts. Actually, to tell you the truth, how many gym how many gym leaders have I seen use a giraffe rig before? More gym leaders should use giraffe rig. It counts as ghost. It's a good idea. I don't know why people don't do it. It's a good idea. It just giraffe rig gets barely any love. It's one of those unsung heroes of the Pokemon universe. That's like I could make a list. Uh, uh you know, like a pod uh, like a list of. Pokemon, I think, I uh, just don't get enough love. And Giraffe Rig is one of them. Anyway, let's talk to uh, our uh, gym leader here. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Harry. This uh, is my gym. It might be weird looking, but it, you can get used to it. Anyway, you're here for a badge, huh? Okay, I accept your challenge. All right, I like this guy. Straight to the point. Doesn't want to give you any story or dilly dally, just does it. And he's got two Pokemon to do it with. Starts with a Chingling level 11. Okay, Razor Leaf does nice damage. I can do that again for another, uh, for a victory. Okay, level 16. I don't really need to be this high level the part way. And a drowsy is your ace. Okay, I'm gonna go into Munchlax then. Because Munchlax is beefy and I should be able to handle it and I should be able to do some night. Wow, you're level 12. Lick is done. Lick is good. And I got disabled. Oh, I'm already disabled in real life. Do I have to be disabled in the game too? Fine. Metronome double team. <laughs> I did not want... I did not mean for Metronome to give me that. I would prefer anything else, but... Well, that's annoying. Can I wake up now, please? I'm disabled no more, but I'm still asleep, for God's sakes. Can I wake up now, please? Look, I'm not attacking you because I'm asleep, so you can't disable me anymore. Stop trying to disable me. You can't disable me when I'm asleep. Okay, that's nice, but that's going to warrant a heal. But you're paralysized, and you're not going to full restore. 
which is nice. So I could be should be able to do a, a few more licks. That means nice. Can I get? Oh, you got fully paralyzed! Ha ha, sucker! There we go. Not a bad gym. I was actually quite easy for me. I liked it. I mean, disable was kind of annoying and the hypnosis was kind of annoying too. But other than that, nothing too much. Nothing, you know, nothing dramatic. Nothing scary. I know I'm a bit overleveled, but not that overleveled. And it wasn't. And this is just from regular battling trainers. I am actually had to like grind unless I was like, you know, my starter is way over leveled compared to where my other Pokemon were. That's all it was. Well, I guess I owe you. Uh, I guess you won. So here's what you came for. I got the Mind Badge. Also, I'd like you to have this. TMO4. That is Calm Mind. It raises a special attack. And, uh, yep, yep. I mean, it seems a bit early to be getting that, but okay. So this is the badge I need. No, uh, this is the bat. Wait. It's a... S okay. Okay. I mean, maybe what I should do is try and just, like, get a hold of these... You know, just, like, do that from the badge case and then maybe take, a, like, a screenshot of the badge case and that'll be how I do it. Get the badges for the badge case in the game. You know, on the layout. We'll see. Anyway, so that is the gym. And I have a phone call, I'm guessing. Joe's phone is ringing. Hey, honey, how's your journey coming along? Wow, you've already got two gym badges? You must be doing something really good then. Oh, uh, what's, what's all, uh, wants to have a few words with you. Hey, Joe, how's it going? I, did I hear you have two gym badges? I uh, shouldn't be surprised. Still, but still, congrats. Wait. Anyway, uh, you'll have you're going to ha go for your third one right after the second one, right? The third gym is in Alley Town, which is east of Route Four. It's uh, going to be a long trip, but I think you can manage it. Well, good luck, Joe. Take care now, honey. Oh, and one more thing. Check your PC in the Pokemon Center. I uploaded something useful for your journey. Okay. I will go and do that in there. Just let me heal. Now I will check the PC in the Pokemon Center. Okay. So we've got item storage. Oh, a town map. Thanks. I kind of needed that. Sure. I have five Pokemon owned, zero... Uh, five Pokemon seen, zero owned. You still have lots to do. Apparently, uh, my Pokemon don't count? Okay. But at least I have a town map now. Can I at least can I have a look at that without it glitching? I can. Cool. I guess so. This is Route Four. Oh, no, this is Route Two with the Silic Cave. Okay. That's Route Three. That's that's Route Twelve. So where's Route Four? Okay, so that go up. Oh. Okay, so that's quite far away, then. Yeah, that's quite far away, because that's where the third gym is. And this is where I am now. Okay. Interesting. Is... Is there anything else I need to do in this city, or is that it for this get? Uh, that it for this city now? Because I need, I guess I need to start heading back. I 
And I don't really want to do that because it's going to take forever to get back because I just... I just beat this cave last episode. Now I've got to go back through it. I mean, I guess I could pick up a... I guess I could pick up a shell off. Because I said I wanted to go... I said I might do that. So I guess I could pick off a shell off. There you go. I wanted the blue one, but I'll take a pink one. I don't really actually know. If the blue one's available later in the game, I might get one of those too. Uh, don't know what to call you, actually. I'm going to call you Candy. Candy. It's my first Pokemon I actually get to nickname because the other two I haven't been able to nickname yet because I don't want to... Because apparently given Pokemon you can't nickname until you find a name rater. Which I still actually haven't found yet. I'm guessing... Though... I should be able to get back. Oh, uh, wait, no, I just I just need to go to, through the cave, don't I? I don't need to go back. I just need to get through the cave. And then I can go down here, can't I? Because there was a, a way to go down. I just couldn't do it for four. Yeah, so this is Route 3. Okay. I can find Starlies here. Hello. I'm not a Pokemon trainer, but I'm uh, not worried about wild Pokemon because I have repels. Good for you, mate. I guess I need to, if I run into trainers, I could probably do with the f getting candy up some levels. Oh, there's Wild Buttleby here. And a Burmy. Okay. I can handle Burmy. And a Subwaddle. There we go. Battle you. I mean, I already have Water Pulse, which is a great move. It's just that Candy is probably not ready to be dealing with uh, trainers just yet. So, I probably shouldn't be using Candy against trainers. Hello. Okay, kid. Give us your Pokemon. Uh, it'll... It'll have a better life with us anyway. What? No, I won't do that. Do you hear me? Do you hear yourself? You talk like Pokemon are tools. Is that all you think about them? For me, they are. They're just tools to get what you, we want. We won't need uh, them anyway. Now, if you don't mind. Hey, what are you, do you doing? People who uh, will bring a new world order. The world we need. The world we want. Hey! Did you see them freaks? Those stole my, took my Pokemon and ran away. What? You'll help me? But they're so scary. You're not scared, are you? Okay, I'll help. I saw them running into that hidden grotto. I think they might be able to run away into the shadows. Well, I don't have cut, so I can't get to that. 
Yeah, I don't have cut. Alright. So I guess I've got to go the long way around. I mean, I, mean, I guess it leaves me to do something for the next episode, because, like, I don't have the ability to do it just yet. Level 15 for Munchlax. Back into Candy. I really should have bought, I really should have got a sleep a uh, Pokemon that can handle grass types too. Eventually I'll wake up and kill this thing. There we go. I can go get to Cherub and I'm out the grass. I should help that kid. All right, fine. I'll help the kid. Can I battle you? Ahoy there, trainer! I know, I know. Stop. I see you have two gym badges already. As a hobby fisherman, I just want to catch a rare Pokemon. So I'm not a, a trainer. But I'm not a trainer, so... Do you want it? Really? Yeah, I'm gonna box this. I mean, I already have a better Pokemon in my, uh, uh, a better water-type Pokemon in the, uh, Shellos I just caught. Take good care of it. And by take good care of it, you probably mean put it in the PC, where it will never see the light of day. Which I will do. I will very much do that. Why did I absorb? I know I can't. Uh, I know this is a grass type. There we go. Okay. Right. I'm going to end today's episode here. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. In the next episode, we will go and rest. Oh, there's Ordinos here. Can I get the experience from you? It's actually rather decent. We will go into the hidden... We will find this hidden grotto. Is there a hidden grotto around? Because I swear they said a hidden grotto. Where is this hidden grotto then? I'm actually not sure where it is, but I'll find it uh, and in the next episode we will deal with it, okay? And I will do some grinding. I will try and get candy up to uh, the level of the team as well. That's what I'll do in the next episode. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Join us next time, where we'll take on another episode of Pokemon Scythe version. But until next time, me and the Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out, you can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on PowerZoneMetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.